It's played me both of you. Thank you. Too. First, I want to say you guys freaked me out last night. <laughs> uh, this movie is terrifying, so I don't I don't know if you can be thanked for that. <laughs> when you walked on set, what was the most terrifying thing working on a set that's pretty creepy? It was actually like pitch black, <laughs> and I think that definitely helped with the filming process because yeah. I couldn't see anything. <laughs> so I just had to go based off my imagination. I didn't see much in the room other than the house, and the house was pretty scary, so that helped a lot. <laughs> I feel like the house was the scariest part. Yeah. I mean, obviously the doll, but, <laughs> but but the house is the house is probably number two because it looked so realistic. It looked like when you walked into it, it looked like you were stepping into a time machine to the 50s and into a whole different whole different universe. Yeah. Now, you're no stranger to this genre. Yeah. Do you, do you just prefer horror films? Well, I feel like especially for an actor, a child actor my age, um, there's just this great range of emotions. Like, you can experience things from great fear to great happiness and everything in between. Sure. And you get to use parts of your creativity and imagination that you probably wouldn't ever use, <laughs> ever want to use. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and now your character, you kind of get a balance between, I don't want to say good and evil, did you prefer one side to the other? Uh, Janice was really fun to play. She, it was really two characters, like you said, two in one. And they were so opposite, like polar opposites of each other, because on one side, this person actually wants to kill all the other orphans, and then on the other side, Janice actually just wants to be a family. Mm -hmm. That's all she really wants, I feel like, is to have a home and to be family with these other girls and to feel welcome. Yeah. And I don't think she ever felt like that. And then when <laughs> when I'm demon Janice, I don't want to spoil <laughs> anything, but when I'm like evil, it's like I, I want to go around killing all these girls. And that, I've never played a character like that before. <laughs> yeah. What was the hardest scene to film for, for both of you? For me, it would have to be the chairlift scene because I was just by myself when I shot that, when I was going up the stairs, and yeah. I didn't have anyone else to feed off of or to react to in the scene. It was just me, so I had to look around and just get scared and be fully in the moment. And David would just like shout monster, or scream, <laughs> scream now, whenever he wanted me to. Um, I feel like the hardest scene for me was well, it's the hardest scene for a lot of people. It was um, the pop gun scene. Oh. Because when I was shooting it, out into the hall after every single time I shot it we'd have to reload it with this like stick thing <laughs> and it was so hard because it took like three minutes each time to just reload the gun and they're like reloading <laughs> like after every time I shot it that was really challenging and hard but also it was really heavy yeah and when it Oh no, I'm not going to spoil anything. But, <laughs> but, but it, it was just really heavy and just hard. It was that was a hard scene, yeah. but it was so much, and it paid off in the end. One of my favorite genres of film are horror films, and I know you guys are younger. Do you have a favorite horror film? I do. I have actually two favorites. So I love The Shining and Sixth Sense. How have you watched The Shining? <laughs> <laughs> it's an incredible movie. How have you not watched it? It's like fantastic. anyone who said they haven't seen it, I would be disappointed in them. <laughs> Um, I really like Crimson Peak and the Ooh. new movie Get Out. Fantastic it, it one. It was so good. I loved it so much. Awesome. Absolute pleasure. Thank you for terrifying Thank me last night. So <laughs> See you guys. Thank you. Thank you.